diddy dum dum diddly poo. Here comes your pal, Muggy Doo. Now, when there's trouble, I don't mind it, because you can bet that I'm behind it. Yummy diddy dum dum diddly dee. Muggy Doo, boy fox, that's me. Boy, business sure is slow. If only I had someone really big to publicize. I could make some guy world famous. Oh boy, a couple of clients. Come in, gentlemen. I'll be with you in a moment. Baby, it was sweet of you to call. Listen, I can't talk to you now. I got Tuesday on the other wire. Hello, Tuesday? Listen, call me back on Wednesday. Now, gentlemen, take a chair. Thanks. We had paid to. Along with the rest of the furniture, the finance company. Yeah, we got orders to pick up all this stuff for non-payment. But, but, but how will I entertain my clients? Try standing on your head. Listen, it must be clients. Muggy do publicity agency. That reminds me. We're supposed to take back the phone now, so... What's that? Paranoid pictures calling. You bet I'll hang on. We already see that routine. Honest, guys. This time it's for real. What's that? You want me to publicize your latest picture, Hot Rod Hipsters? Well, gee, I don't know if I can handle it. I'm kind of tied up right now. Where'd he go? Who cares? As long as we take back his car. Let's load it on the truck. Thanks for the look, fellas. You've knocked my chauffeur unconscious. Now might be a good time to pay him. You fool! I have an important appointment at Paranoid Pictures. What a coincidence! So do I! What a lucky break for you! Stop! Slow down! You'll kill us both! Relax, Pop. One of these gadgets has to be the break. Look, look, look out! Oh, my brand new Alfa Ravioli. Ruin! Relax, Tubby. I'll buy you a new one as soon as I sign that contract with J.M. Paranoid. You had a Paranoid pictures? The very same. He and I are old pals. They the buddy buddies. For your information, old body body, my name is J.M. Paranoid. Really? Well, in that case, my name is Mud. Oh, dear. That looks like J.N. himself. But you can't go out there, Clint. They'll gun you down like a prairie dog. Don't you fear none, ma'am. I got one of the quickest drawers in the West. How so the red is. We'll never reach those trapped miners in time, Chief. This mountain is solid rock and 40 feet thick. Simmering strobe lights. He's ruining every picture. Alone at last, my precious Cleo. Nothing to disturb us but the gentle lapping of the waves. <laughs> Why did I ever leave the pickle business? All right, Louie. You're going for a little ride. No, boss. Not that. Anything but a ride. You know, this ain't as bad as I thought it would be. Good news, J.M. I finally figured out how to stop this thing. Me, Charles. You, J.M. You confounded fox! Brilliant idea, Chief. What on earth are you blubbering about? We got it, that whole thing on the film. It's a perfect publicity stunt for our latest picture, Hot Rod Hipsters. Hey, boss, you're a genius. Well, uh, <laughs> actually, I can't take all the credit for the idea. Part of it must go to these gentlemen. Muggy does it, eh? Muggy, 
From now on, I'm putting you in complete charge of our publicity department. Gosh! Now I want you to get busy and dream up a fresh new publicity angle on our next feature titled Up the River Without a Key, a heart-rending saga of prison life. Yahoo! Head of publicity for Paranoid Pictures! I'm set for life! Brother, you sure are. That's him, officer. Maggie, my boy, I'm proud of you. Getting yourself thrown in jail is a brilliant publicity stunt for a prison picture. That's a trouble, J.M. It's no stunt. I really am a prisoner, and I won't be able to take that job either. What? Now see here, I've got an iron-bound contract for your services. I'm afraid the government has one also, and it's even more iron-bound than yours. Oh, ow! Ooh.